Hello, my name is Paolo della Versana. I am a senior geophysicist with NESPA. And the title of my lecture is Using Digital Music Technology for Geophysical Data Analysis and Interpretation. Before starting, I would like to thank my colleagues and co-authors Gianluca Gabriellini and Alfonso Amendola. This is the outline of my lecture. After a brief introduction, I will explain the fundamentals of our methodology. Then I will show several examples based on real data. And finally, we conclude with some main remarks. The following are the key messages of uh, my lecture. First, I will show that simultaneous visual audio display can improve interpretation of geophysical data. And then I will show that advanced digital music technology and musical pattern recognition algorithms can improve data mining and categorization. So let me explain the basics of our methodology. We start from the geophysical domain using very standard formats, such as SEGUI for seismic data, for instance. Then we perform an accurate frequency analysis using special mathematical transforms, such as wavelength transforms or Stockwell transforms, in order to extract the spectrograms from our time series. And after extracting the spectrograms, we transform those spectrograms into MIDI files. MIDI means Musical Instrument Digital Interface, and it is a standard protocol used in modern digital music technology. After transforming seismic data or other types of geophysical data, such as electromagnetic or gravity data, into MIDI files, basically we moved into the musical domain. So we move from the seismic or geophysical domain into the musical domain. And after doing that, we can apply two different but linked workflows. The first one is an automatic workflow. It is based on the application of musical information retrieval algorithms and pattern recognition algorithms that are commonly used uh, for exploring huge datasets in the musical domain. This is an automatic approach. In parallel, we can select specific areas of interest from our data in order to perform an interactive analysis based on simultaneous audio-video display of our geophysical data. In that way, we can capture a lot of interesting sounds associated with our geophysical signals. So we have a double sense perception of the same geophysical information. And of course, these two approaches, the automatic one and the interactive one, are absolutely linked with each other. So, for instance, if we have a seismic section like this, we work trace by trace, we select every small piece of our seismic trace, and then we perform our frequency analysis using the appropriate mathematical transforms such as Stockwell, Wavelets, and so on. And we create our spectrograms, and from the spectrograms we create our MIDI files. So we move from geophysical domain to the musical domain. And we transform the entire seismic volume into a volume of MIDI geophysical sounds. Okay, now I would like to show you some examples, starting from the simplest one. Let's start with a single trace analysis. This is a seismic trace, a real seismic trace. So on the vertical axis, we have amplitude. On horizontal axis, we have the travel times. We perform our spectral analysis uh, using uh, uh, Stockwell transform, in this particular case, of this seismic trace. And we get our spectrogram. So here, in the second panel, we have frequencies on the vertical axis and travel times on the horizontal axis. Colors mean uh, seismic amplitude. Instead, frequencies are represented on the vertical axis. Red means high amplitude, blue means low amplitude. Working on this spectrogram, we create our MIDI files. Basically, we associate sound intensity with seismic amplitude and the pitch, so the specific musical note, with the frequency. So this is a typical representation, a typical display in the so-called MIDI piano roll display. So on the vertical axis here, we have a virtual keyboard. So we have the pitch that is linked with the frequency 
of our seismic signal. On the horizontal axis, we have the time. This is the execution time of our musical MIDI file. And we can uh, decide about the speed of this execution. So we can also select a very slow speed of the MIDI file uh, in order to capture every single note, every single musical pattern associated with our original seismic data. In the MIDI piano roll display, red means high sound intensity, blue means low sound intensity. And this is a zoom. In particular, we have also in the yellow square, we have a zoom in the gas oil reservoir. This is the spectrogram transformed into our MIDI file. And every small pixel, every small square of this uh, MIDI file representation is a musical note. So you can understand that we have a lot of musical notes versus time. And we can capture a lot of significant musical patterns that are associated with our original seismic data. Let me show now a, a, a real example along an entire regional seismic section. This is a very interesting seismic section because it crosses the Kruger uh, hydrocarbon field in the Barents Sea. We selected a regional section of about 175 kilometers. So this is our seismic section and uh, uh, you can see that there are many interesting seismic features here. And we selected uh, an horizontal direction fixed at 1.2 seconds. You can see a yellow circle moving from left to right. And uh, I'm going to show you an audio video where you can listen to the sounds associated with each position of this yellow circle so that you can associate uh, sounds to seismic imaging. Basically, uh, we interpolated the seismic amplitudes trace by trace at this fixed depth of 1.2 seconds, and we created this sort of horizontal seismic trace. Then we performed our frequency analysis and, and we extracted the spectrogram of this horizontal seismic trace. Again, here, red means high amplitude, blue means low amplitude, and uh, we transformed this spectrogram into a MIDI file. So now I'm going to show you a video uh, so that you can see at the same time the seismic data in the conventional format, but you can see also uh, the frequency content in the spectrogram at a fixed depth of 1.2 seconds, and at the same time you can listen to the sounds, the MIDI sounds associated with this data. I invite you to capture all the minimal variations in terms of sounds in correspondence of the main seismic features variations, especially when the yellow cycle crosses the reservoir where you can read oil, gas, there is the reservoir and you can listen to a particular sound at that, that position. Also, please pay attention when the yellow cycle crosses uh, interesting uh, and clear geological boundaries. And also you, in that point, can, can listen to specific sound variations. Also play, pay attention in correspondence of blank or poor signals areas of the seismic data. You can listen to very interesting sound patterns also at that location. This means that we can capture sounds even where seismic data are relatively poor. So the final goal of this uh, audio video display is to add an additional perception, the audio perception to the conventional video and visual perception of seismic data. So the, the, the video that I'm going to show you is very self-explanatory. I don't want to interfere with your listening. So please look at the video and then I will go on with the presentation.
Okay, you can find this uh, video on YouTube together with other very interesting videos um, showing particular details of the same section at a very slow uh, speed uh, so you can capture very well the musical patterns associated with the reservoir area. But you can find on YouTube also other videos and other examples. Now I would like to show you another part of our uh, workflow. Uh, basically, we can extract uh, a lot of MIDI attributes, uh, more than 100 MIDI attributes that are linked with frequency, sound intensity, the length of the musical notes, uh, melodic patterns, harmonic patterns, and these MIDI attributes can be grouped together and they can be really diagnostic for uh, clustering and for detecting special seismic geophysical features. So we work a lot using MIDI attributes. I would like to show you an example. This is a seismic section that was translated into instantaneous MIDI attributes. For instance, here you have attributes uh, li uh, linked with uh, the length of the musical notes or with the sound intensity or with the frequency content, the instantaneous frequency content. And we can combine all these attributes, we can use other attributes that are unique in music. They have no correspondence in the standard geophysical attribute uh, approach. For instance, melodic patterns or harmonic patterns or rhythmic patterns. They are very unique in our approach. And we can combine all these attributes or part of them in order to perform a very accurate and powerful uh, pattern recognition working on big 2D or 3D datasets, exploring and mining these big datasets in order to uh, identify and to classify uh, features, geophysical features that of course correspond with ge geological features. The benefit is of course an improved analysis and interpretation of seismic data. And this is an example. So this is a seven classes clustering example. We cluster it in seven color classes our uh, media attributes in order to identify uh, similar geophysical features that hopefully correspond with uh, similar geological features. Let me conclude with some final remarks. Uh, we introduced a new approach for expanding geophysical data analysis through interactive audio-video display. Moreover, we improve the analysis and the interpretation of geophysical data through MIDI attributes and automatic pattern recognition. There are, there are many applications uh, ranging from hydrocarbon exploration, reservoir characterization, monitoring, and so on. These are the main references of the work performed by other authors before us, and also there are some recent papers published by us, and finally, I would like to acknowledge any management for authorizing this lecture. Thank you.